I've done a lot of thinking about this and I've done a lot of discussion about this and I came to the conclusion that well, basically girls see themselves as different from boys in the classroom and the only way to combat that is for girls to not feel different from boys not just in the classroom but outside the classroom it's the societal pressures that we face and the way that society views the differences between men and women that kind of transcends the classroom walls and makes us think that we can't do it in the classroom and so I think we should definitely work on you know, de-emphasizing things like outward appearance, etc. And kind of work to empower girls and tell them that they can do whatever they want. Teachers also make a big difference. Um, the way a teacher is running their class and giving students a chance to talk. Some teachers will tend to, you know, like go for the more aggressive or more like um, more outspoken guys all the time. And then when someone who doesn't talk often raises their hand, they just get bored. And I think it makes a big difference the way that the teacher is treating all the students. Like, part of the main reasons why I don't think many women go into STEM is because there aren't many women in STEM. It's a thing you don't see people who look like you, and that can deter a lot of people because that can make you think that that's not something that you belong in. And so I think definitely, well, you, but you can only increase the number of faculty by increasing the number of people who go into STEM. And so if you don't see someone who looks like you, that should be an added factor for why you should do it, so that other people in the future don't have to feel that way. Y'all are awesome. <laughs> Great answers. <laughs>